When I am mayor of Oakland, I absolutely see my role as an advocate for the needs of our students. The students in Oakland's public schools are one of the core responsibilities of all of us as a community. And if we're not taking the steps to enable our youth to succeed, then we will not have hope for the future. And fundamentally, all of our goals, from public safety to economic revitalization to community cohesion, depend on ensuring that all of our children have safe access to a quality education. As mayor, I will appoint a specific key leadership staff position to serve as the city school liaison, to be the point person within the mayor's office for ensuring that we are maintaining ongoing communication with the schools, that I as mayor always have a representative at school meetings to make sure that the collaboration happens not just when there's a crisis moment, but that we have ongoing and long-term planning, such as strategic unity around federal grants, strategic unity around how we're using buildings and grounds, and other efforts of that sort. I will also publicly convene stakeholder sessions and hold a public summit on planning for the long-term future of education in Oakland as well. We need to incorporate stronger vocational connections and help students see and feel and experience a direct connection between their education and their life opportunities. And that also has the added benefit of being very engaging for the students that will also help reduce truancy and absenteeism by ensuring that we're providing the kind of real hands-on learning. Students should have the opportunity to learn how to balance a checkbook, how to do a job interview, and we need to make sure that our job-based training is aimed at industries where there actually are jobs. Because one of the complaints these days is that people go through an education or training program and at the end of it they don't get a job and then they lose hope. And so as mayor, a key part of my role will be to be engaging in genuine business attraction, local hiring policies, and real expansion of job opportunity for Oakland residents while at the same time making sure we're targeting growth industries. And I know that we're in an economic downturn and that times are not easy. But that doesn't mean no economic sectors are growing. There's growth going on in the arts and film. There's growth going on in food production, restaurants and hospitality. There's growth going on in healthcare and trade and logistics and recycling. And so we can partner with businesses, the city, the port and the schools to make sure we're providing information about coming job opportunities and educational programs that directly link to real life skills, both for college and for direct job opportunities for our young people. I also see working together on ensuring that our young people have access to nutrition, have access to a safe way to get to and from school, and to also really delve into some of the deeper issues around some of our students who are struggling the most, the ones who may not have stable homes, who may uh, need to be adopted, who may need other vital support services, so that we really are providing those wraparound services that deal with students' lives as a whole in terms of their health care, their home life, their access to school, as well as their programming in school. And the other thing I want to make sure we talk about is that when we look at the gap in education between the most privileged and the least privileged of the students, one of the biggest problems is in terms of after school and summer opportunities, where youth from more privileged households tend to get enrichment programs. And we need to reimagine summer programming through our schools so that students will not see it as a punishment and they won't see it as something you only do if you fail the class, but that we provide summer programs that are engaging and vibrant and healthy and provide both physical and mental education and opportunity and really fill that gap so that our young people who don't have families with a lot of money do not lack 
the equal access to those kind of programs after school and enrichment and summer programs. And by taking all of these steps together, we really can build for Oakland a kind of future where all of our students feel valued and participate in a broader revitalization of our entire city.